Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in this video, you will see a Python program to convert a decimal number to binary. There are many ways we can do this program. You can write your logic or use a inbuilt function or use recursion to calculate the binary number. In this tutorial, I will keep the most straightforward logic so that you can easily understand line by line and later at the end, I will also show you using a built-in function. I always recommend understanding the logic to help your problem solving skill and later use any built-in function. You can also write the same code in many different ways. You can comment on your version of the code in the comment section. So the first question is, what is binary number and how it is calculated? Let us understand this first, then we can implement using code. In mathematics, we have different representation of numbers like the decimal number system, hexadecimal, binary number system, etc. In decimal, we have 0 to 9, but in a binary number system, we have only zeros and ones. It means it is made up of only zeros and ones. There is no 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 in binary. Let's take an example. Let's say you have a number 35. Then how to convert 35 into a binary system? Let me show you. So I can write 35 here. The very first thing we need to do is divide the number by 2 to calculate the remainder. So I can do that. So I will keep 2 here. Let's divide it. It will give me 17 with the remainder 1. So I divided it and it gave me a reminder as 1. It also gave me a quotient of 17 for the next iteration. We need to repeat this process till the quotient reaches 0. So let me divide it again. Again with 2. It will give me 8 as a quotient and reminder with 1. Let me just bring few more lines here. Let me divide it again. This time it will be 4 with the remainder 0. Again we will divide with 2. The output will be 2 with the remainder 0. This time we will again divide. So 2, it will be 1 here and the remainder will be 0. Now we have reached to 1. So we will require one more divide. So it will be 2 here. We will get 0 and here the remainder will be 1. Now we have got all the remainders which are either 0 or 1. So this is the output. To get the correct order of binary, we need to reverse it. So our output will be in a reverse order. So it will look like 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So the binary of 35 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now let's move to code. For simplicity, I will take a positive integer value in this current tutorial. Binary calculation for decimal float numbers or negative numbers have a slightly different logic to work, which I may cover in a separate video in the future. So to get the input, we can use the Python input method. So I can write decimal number equals to input method. And here I can specify some message. Let's say enter any positive integer number. By default, the input method value will be string. So we need to convert this input to the integer type. So I can write int method here. Now we have got the input. So our first step is completed. Next, let us write one function which will take one parameter and return us with the binary output. You can write logic without a function as well, but it is a good practice to create a function that does one task and return us with the output. So whenever we need output, we can simply call that function again and get the result. To create a function, I can write def, then I can write calculate binary 
and it will take one parameter so I can write num here. Now we have our function but the most important thing is to implement the logic which we have seen before. Let's write that as well. So the first step is to calculate the remainder. To calculate the remainder of any given number we'll use modulus operation. So I can write num modulus 2. This will calculate the remainder. Now the remainder is calculated but we need to save that value in some variable. So I can write remainder equals to and our operation. Now we have got the binary character which can be either 0 or 1. To convert any decimal number into a binary number, we need to divide the given number by 2 until the num reaches 0 and store a reminder somewhere. So to do that we need a loop. Here I will be using a while loop. So I can write while num greater than 0 and this our logic will be in the while loop. So our while condition is set. But what do we need to do next? Next we saw in the example that each remainder is the binary value and needs to be reversed to get the correct result. To get the final binary output we need to save the output somewhere so we can reverse it after the loop ends. One way is to have a list and append each remainder value to that list and print that list in a reverse order. Another way is to have a string and append each remainder as a character string and print that string in a reverse order. To keep it simple I will go via the string approach but I will also show you how it will work using a list in a minute. So let's declare one string. Let's say binary output and let's set to empty here. Coming back to remainders, we'll append each remainder output in the string. So I can write binary output equals to binary output plus our remainder. This can also be written using the addition assignment operator. So it will look like this binary output plus equals to remainder. So I can remove this line. Both are same. But the remainder is an integer here which needs to be converted into a string for append operation. So I can write string of remainder. That's it. Please ignore this new because this is a PyCharm feature and it is not our code. Now that we have saved the first remainder, we need to divide the number by 2 and get the next question value and check if it reached 0 or not. For that we need to do a floor division to get the output using two forward slashes. So I can write num equals to num 2 forward slash by 2. If you do a single slash division, it will give you a float number output which we don't want. So we need to do float division. This loop will continue till our num reaches 0. At the end of the loop, we'll have a binary output stored in a string. As a last step, we need to reverse the string to print the correct output as we have seen in our example. The calculated binary needs to be in reverse order. To do that we just need the python slicing technique. So I can write binary output and it will be colon colon minus 1. Slicing is the simplest way for reversing any string, list etc. You can write your reverse logic as well. And finally we will return this output. So I can write return here. Now our function is ready. You can further optimize or shorten the code by changing some logic here and there. Lastly, we need to call this function with a parameter. So I can write calculate binary and will pass decimal number as a parameter. This function will return us with the output. So I can write output here and output equals to. So let me print this output. So I can write print and I can write binary output. And I will have just output. 
output here. I don't need any conversion because the output is already in a string format. Let me save this and run this with an example. Run decimal to binary. It is asking for the user input, so I can write 35 here and it gives us the correct output 100011. Let's try with another example, let's say 50. So the output is correct 110010. Now we understood how to convert decimal to binary. Now let me show you how we can use a list instead of string and then we'll see a built-in method. So before that let me copy the same function. Let me paste it here. Let me change the name like with list and before that I can comment this existing function. Now to store all binary values, we'll declare a list instead of string. So I can write binary output and it will be empty list. And I can delete this line. Next, let me remove the string append code. And I can write binary output dot append and we'll just append remainder now all our binary output is stored in a list let me print that list for you so let me just remove this line and let me just show you print and it will be binary output let me save and try to show you let me write 35 again okay so before that we need to call that function so let me call this function and just pass the decimal number and now let me run this code and we'll enter 35 so we have our list but to get the actual output we need to print the list in a reverse order to do that we can use for loop so i can write for i in range and it will be length of string it will be binary output minus 1 and we need to print till the last element or till the first element so i can write minus 1 and we are printing in reverse order so our step will be minus 1 and just print the element so i can write binary output of i So this code print the list in a reverse order. Let me remove this line of code. And here I can just add end and with empty string. This will help printing the list on the same line. There are other ways as well. You can write your own. I am just printing the output here itself, but you can extend the logic to return the output as previously. Now let's save this and run. Let me type 35 again and it should give 100011. Yes, that's the correct output. We also talked about some built in methods. In Python, we have a few. So let me comment this code. Now we'll use built in method. First, we'll use the bin method which converts the integer number into binary. Just simply write bin method. So we can write output equals to bin method and we'll pass the parameter. So it will be decimal number. The bin method returns the binary representation of an integer. It will give a type error for non integer value. Let me print the output and save it. Output from the bin will have two additional characters at the beginning as a prefix, which represents that the result is a binary string. Let me print the output first and show you. So I can just run. Let's say it will be 35. You can see the initial two characters in the output. 
To have the correct output, we can slice and remove the first two characters and print the data. So let me do that. So let me do the slicing. It will be two. That's it. Let me rerun. And this time we'll use 15. It's one, 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 one. Now the prefix is removed. Next is the format method. So I can write output equals to format and we need to pass decimal number. Let me comment this code as well. And we need to pass the option B. So I can write B here. Specifying B as an option will treat this as a binary. So let me save this. Before that, let me print the output. Let's take the same example of 15. So we got the correct output. Let me try with another number. Let's say 35 and it should give 100011. That's it. That's it from this video. If you like this content, hit that like and subscribe button and press that bell icon. So you will get notified whenever new videos gets uploaded. And lastly, if you have any queries or suggestion, Feel free to comment and I will try to answer those. Thanks for watching. See you next time.